Our first inductee into the 2015 class of the Missouri Press Association Newspaper Hall of Fame served as a reporter, city editor, managing editor, and finally, executive editor of the old St. Louis Globe Democrat during a distinctive 43-year career with the newspaper. George was a calm man, and newsrooms in those days were not always calm places. There was a lot, uh, there could be a lot of shouting, there could be uh, arguing over the content of the story. There could be a lot of pressure to get things done by deadline. Uh, in the beginning, in those days, everything was done by, on paper. And then, um, so it was, a, it was a challenging process. Uh, a loud place, and George was a pretty quiet guy. And, you know, people would occasionally lose their tempers or lose their cool. George was the boss. He got done what he wanted and needed to get done. But he was kind of an island of calm in the midst of all that. And I always admired that. He's able to keep it cool. George A. Killenberg, a native of St. Louis, attended St. Louis University, working as a sports information director. The Globe Democrat hired him in 1941 as a reporter. After serving in the Army Medical Corps during World War II, Mr. Killenberg returned to the Globe Democrat and to SLU, where he earned a master's degree in American history. As a reporter, he covered the coal mine disaster in Centralia, Illinois in 1947 that killed 111 miners. In 1956, Mr. Killenberg was promoted to city editor, then to managing editor 10 years later, and to executive editor in 1979. He retired when the Newhouse family sold the newspaper in 1984. He served as president of the St. Louis Press Club and the Mid-America Press Institute. He would work all day, and then he would uh, go home for dinner, and he would have the early edition of the paper, paper cabbed out to his house. And he would comb through that early edition and look for things that needed to be done differently or look for things that he felt were shortcomings or stories that could be better. And, then, you know, some nights the paper was great and some nights George would be on the phone for quite a while calling into the city desk saying, OK, we have to work on this, we have to work on that, and we have to get it done before the final edition uh, is put to bed. So his commitment and his dedication were, were uh, you know, really a model. Mr. Killenberg was known as a strong advocate of local news. He championed diversity in the newsroom, assigning female reporters to hard news assignments, hiring the city's first female sports writer, recruiting minorities from area journalism schools in Missouri and Illinois, and he promoted a woman, Sue Ann Wood, to Globe Democrat editorial post never before held by a woman, city editor, and later managing editor. Under his leadership, the newspaper won a Pulitzer Prize along with reporting awards from Sigma Delta Chi, the University of Missouri School of Journalism, and the Alfred Sloan Foundation. Mr. Killenberg believed journalism stood for the people. As he directed news coverage, he used the considerable influence of the Globe Democrat to sound alarms, expose injustices, and hold public officials and public figures accountable for their actions. To him, journalists were the ultimate public servants. Born in 1917, Mr. Killenberg died in 2008 at the age of 91.